Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self Defense of Master Gary Nance. In this final and fifth video for the series, walking, keeping your crook, facing to the outside versus facing to the end, we're going to fin finish off with a two handed rifle strike. Now, we already talked about the verticals, the horizontals, diagonals, as well as a two handed bayonet strike. The rifle strike. It's very simple and effective technique to do in close to the face or throat. You can also hit the body. We'll discuss that in a second. Now, normally, when I have my hand on my cane and my crook is facing in, when I go to do that rifle strike, I simply bring it down a bit, pick it up, and now both hands are right here, and I'm able to thrust forward. With my hand on the crook and the crook to the outside, I can still do that a little bit. One of the things I can do is I can easily chamber down to about right here. I'm not going beyond the, ho the hook itself. I'm just going to the top part, lifting it up, and that's going to allow me to strike. So from here, I simply this, and I hit. Now, I can simply leave my hand right where it's at, too, if I want to. Because remember, this is a piece of wood, and I'm striking in the face. I don't need that much power. So if I want to leave my hand here, all I'm going to do is just watch my wrist. I'm going to bring it up. Now notice how my wrist is slightly bent. Again, I could shift it to here and go like I did earlier. But if I don't want to do that, I'm just going to actually take my wrist and turn my wrist a bit and let it slide within the cane. So I'm here, comes up, that wrist is bent a bit as I thrust out. I just simply shift it. So I'll show you that here. I come up. I don't want my wrist like that. So when I go out, I just simply turn it. So it's like I'm doing this kind of from here and hit to the face. If I want to slide down a little bit, then I hit with the back part of the cane and I'm holding it strong. Either way is going to be effective. Either way are going to take out teeth, crush the nose, and hit them enough in the throat to make them ah! and get them off you. So again, one way is I shift down and I smack. Another way is to simply lift it up and just kind of turn the wrist a bit and hit. That's something you can work with and see what you like. That way, you know, you have a good solid hold. Now, <clears throat> if I don't want to hit the throat or face, I can still hit them in the body. Either way, comes up, hits the body that way, comes up, hits the body that way. So if he's kind of a drunk or something, I can push him off without causing major injury. Now, the reason I wanted to do this one last is I wanted to talk about the benefits of when you're doing a two-hand strike when your crook is out. Now, in our system, when we get to the more advanced level in our system, we do in close fighting. And we're using that hook and striking more. And it is out. Because people say, well, I don't ever see much with, the, with it out. In our advanced stage of the RDT combat system, we definitely have an enclosed combat fighting. Because as I said in my one video, when I'm walking in the store, I tend to pick my cane up and walk through. Even if I'm like this, I'll pick it up have it where it's not going to run into something or anybody. So from here, one of the benefits is when you're doing a rifle strike, as I strike with that crook out, I can simply turn and hook as well. So I can give them a little bit of push and then hook them. Now, you can do that with, the, with, with a traditional rifle strike too because your crook is already facing out. Now, same thing with a bayonet strike. Traditional one, when I like to do it, my crook is out, I can shoot in. Boom. Well, it's the same thing when I'm here. If I come up and I hit here like this, I simply shift it and I can hook. So... You don't think you can't use your um, horn to hook them when you're in close with any of those strikes, whether your cane is to the inside or whether your horn is facing to the outside. And again, with the rifle strike, it comes up. If I'm holding it on the top, it's simply very easily that wrist shifts a little bit just so I'm not striking to hurt my wrist. It's more straight. So I, I come up and pop them. Or... I simply shift down just a little bit to grab that tip part and 
strike with the back part of the cane. Now, as I do that, I can simply turn and hook them if I want to do something. So if I start to push them away, turn, and I can hook. And I have the abilities of hooking them and pulling them down or something. So don't think you cannot hook somebody, whether your cane is this way or this way. You have the abilities to do all kinds of stuff. So even if I'm sitting here and the cane horn is out, as I start to push him, if his hand comes in, I can hook that hand and bring it down and then shoot to his face or something. So that's one of the good benefits about having that crook to the outside when you're coming in, it's already there. No difference when you're fighting and you're swinging it and you're hooking with it. <clears throat> so hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully all five of those videos helped <clears throat> with the crook to the outside. Work on it if you'd like to walk this way. Don't forget once in a while practice this way as well. And vice versa, if you like to walk this way, practice like this. You might find certain things you like, certain things you don't like. It's entirely up to you. So hopefully that series that we did on Crook to the Outside helps. Thank you for watching. If you get an opportunity, please subscribe. It does help. Gary Hernandez, thank you. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye.